Hello, my name's Jason and welcome to a very special episode of me painting. Today we've got a, a bigger canvas, we've got an 18 by 24 canvas and uh, we're going to do going to do quite a lot in this one. I'm going to go through all the techniques, the materials I use and uh, hopefully it'll be a lot of fun. So let's put on uh, some black gesso to start with because I want to uh, I want to create like a waterfall in here and uh, black gesso works really well to put in your darks. So you get your dark your dark in first using your black gesso and then you, all you need to do is your highlights. So here we go. Let's, uh, let's put it on. I'm just using an old brush, just the same brush you'd use to paint your house. <laughs> and we're just going to put in like the bottom part. I'm going to put say a mountain in here and some clouds and we'll see what happens. So the black gesso, it's a uh, acrylic based primer and it dries, dries matte black which is uh, perfect for us, using the uh, Bob Ross Black Gesso as well. All the materials I'm using are the Bob Ross ones. And we're just putting the indication of a few trees in there as well, so we know what's, what we're doing. You can use a foam applicator instead of a brush, if you so wish. So this is a uh, nice, easy way of just getting the getting it all blocked in straight away. There's many ways to do a picture. <laughs> this is just one. So all we're doing now is just painting it black. <laughs> you could do this with anything really. You can do this with a paint roller. Just get it done really fast. <laughs> Blocking it in black. Okay. Now, if you want, you can do this flat on a table. You don't have to do it upright like this. This is just so you can see. Okay. Something like that. And then we've got a good base for us to work with. So I'm just lightly going across that. Okay, so that's the uh, first part of this painting. And I'll see you in a couple of minutes while this dries. Maybe get yourself a cup of tea. Hello, welcome back. I've uh, let my canvas dry nicely. It's been about 30 minutes. I had a cup of tea, a few biscuits. Hope you did the same. So, what we're going to do first is we need to put some liquid clear on the base. So, I've got some tiny bit of liquid clear on the bottom part, for the bottom part. <laughs> and we'll just throw that on with a clean dry two inch brush. This will make our paint wet, it'll make it slip. Make it easier for us to uh, put our dry oils on the canvas. I'm just using the two inch landscape brush. It's just got nice soft bristles. And although it does look like a uh, brush that you'd buy in a hardware store. <laughs> Here's an artist quality brush. Okay, let's see if we clear on. Let's just get a little bit of paper and we'll go over that. Because we don't need much. We only need a little bit, a little bit. Right, now let's, uh, let's put on a little bit of colour. Now we're using a little bit of the uh, phthalo blue, just tap, tap into the colour, just give it a tap and then we'll just start putting in some blue on the black part of the canvas. 
our plan is to have some water sort of running down here and then a big waterfall. So we need lots of uh, lots of colour. So there we go. That'll do for the uh, bottom part. So we've got a little bit of liquid clear and then a little bit of the phthalo blue just covering that. Okay, now let's put in some liquid white on the top, just on the top part there where our sky is going to be. So using a different brush, let's dip into some liquid white. And using little X's, little X's. Let's just cover that part, and you can allow it to, to come over here. It doesn't matter. These are where we're going to put some trees. So you want the very thin, very thin. Just put my palette down. Even coat of the liquid white. It's the liquid white. Just get a little bit more. So if you do it where your brush stays on the canvas, you get as, you get less mess. <laughs> if you're doing it, you get more mess. So try and paint it where your brush stays on the canvas mostly. Okay, all across. Just touch. And have a look at your finger. If you can still see your fingerprint, then you've got enough on. If you can't see your fingerprint, then you've got too much on. Okay. Now I've got a fingerprint there, so I just need to blend that one out. <laughs> okay, now let's uh, just get some colour in our sky. Let's use a little bit less phthalo blue. Maybe a dot, just a dark crimson. So we've got phthalo blue and a dark crimson. Still using our dirty brush, it doesn't matter. Just little X's, little I'll start, start at the top and then work down. We'll put in our sky. Okay. Just little axes. Okay, that'll do. We'll leave it quite a uh, open sky. Now, using a clean, dry two inch brush again, I'm just going to blend this out. Blend this out. There we go. Maybe, maybe there's a couple of clouds in there. Let's use the uh, one inch brush and just pull out a little bit of titanium white. Just pulling in one direction. Maybe get a touch of bright red. Just to pink it up a little bit. And then turn it over. Maybe there's a, there's a bit of a cloud there. Just using tiny little circles. Tiny little circles. And put in that one. Maybe there's another one. Maybe it's sort of here. Okay, maybe there's a little one there as well. We'll just tap that one in. <laughs> okay. Now we clean our brushes with odorless paint thinner. Now you want to use odorless because it's uh, odorless. <laughs> and uh, when you use turpentine, it not only does it really smell, it leaves a, a sediment on your bristles and it'll ruin your brushes. So just using a little bit of paint thinner. And then I've got a uh, beta rack inside a, a bin. I'll just show you it. And I uh, whack my brush along to whack all the uh, paint thinner off. 
and then your brush is ready again rather than using the leg of the, <laughs> the easel which can create quite a mess so I'll just beat that on there and then check on a paper towel to see if it's clean and dry and then we're in business again so with your clean dry brush you can uh, just mix mix the base of this cloud here and then just beat that off and then lift up lift up that just get some wind in the cloud just go over that one and then slightly just go over very lightly very lightly okay let's put in a uh, let's put in a little mountain there okay now using some uh, midnight black van dyke brown alizarin crimson and let's get a little bit of the phthalo blue in there as well so i've got blue black brown and crimson make our mountain color our base color and to check it to see uh, how much color there is get a little bit of white so it's got a nice grayish tone to it and that's what I was after Okay, so pull out your paint, very flat, and then cut across, and you get a little roll of paint, a little roll of paint. So, let's have a look, and we'll have a mountain, maybe he lives, who is there? And I'm pushing down pretty hard, don't worry about the canvas. You won't rip it. <laughs> Canvases are pretty tough. And cut across, a little roll of paint again. And let's put in another peak there. So I'm looking at the top corner of the knife. Top corner of the knife. And you scrape off the excess paint. The reason we scrape off the excess paint is is so uh, when we pull out all our highlights and or pull out the colour, sorry, then you get to see the misty area at the base. We want we want that misty bit, so we try and uh, save, make it easier for us <laughs> by, by removing that paint, and then it makes it easier for the next layer to stick as well. So uh, want to make it easy for ourselves. <laughs> Let's use a Let's use a one inch brush today. You can use a one inch or a two inch brush. Let's start with this one. Let's just pull this one down. Pull it down. It sort of mixes, mixes with liquid white and gets lighter towards the horizon. So we get our mist in this one. Goes there and this one's in front. So we're just thinking about the angles. Thinking about angles. That one there, and it just slides on the liquid white. Okay, and then you can start playing with this, looking at if I pull this side down, what, which side of the mountain do I want to be highlighted, and which side do I want shadowed. You can do that at this point, and you're not committed. Okay, All right, using the uh, back to the old knife, landscape knife. Just wipe off the excess paint. <laughs> Let's uh, get a little bit of white mixed in with our base colour. Let's make a nice greyish cut across, a little roll of paint, a little roll of paint. And we'll start using that to highlight a few of these. So very light pressure, very light pressure. Just drag the knife down. 
no pressure no pressure you have to use no pressure for the paint to break <laughs> so, no pressure make a bit more of this colour. Okay, maybe this maybe this goes round like that, so it goes down. Okay. And a little bit on this one here. Just no pressure. a bit on here as well. Wherever you want, just put them in. Maybe that sort of joins like that. And then what I can do is get a little bit of darker colour. Maybe I want this darker side to have a bit more depth to it. I'll put in some dark. Same, same again, no pressure. Maybe we'll use a bit of white, a bit more white. Some of our colours. Titanium white. And let's highlight a few more. So you can keep going with this, doing all, all kinds of things. Maybe there's a bit of snow. It's on some of the areas of the mountain. Because you're doing very light pressure. It just picks up the light wherever it wants. as well. Okay, that'll do for that mountain. Now we'll uh, start misting up the base. Just wipe my uh, knife on a paper towel. Okay, using a clean dry two inch brush. Tap, tap the base, just lightly. We don't want to uh, completely destroy it, we just want to mist it up a little bit. Just mist it up there. And thinking about the angles, thinking about the, always thinking about the angles. Now let's put some trees in front of there. Let's uh, grab the old number three fan brush, number three fan, and let's get some, let's use this dark, let's throw in some sap green. A bit of dark and sap green. Let's pull in a bit of that white as well, just make it a bit lighter. Okay. Now, Quite a lot of paint on the brush. Quite a lot of paint. 
let's start creating our trees in the background now to do these trees you just touch and pull down touch and pull down and you want to be doing lots of lots of different heights lots of different heights okay let's get some more paint just touch in pulling down and maybe there's a hill there you can do that you can create hills maybe you want the hill to go up like this and back down it's up to you do whatever you like in your picture. Some more colour on the fan brush. Let's bring that one. Oh, that one goes right up there. Right out there. Okay. Now using the old clean dry two inch brush again. <laughs> Let's uh tap just tapped into a tiny tiny bit of white just for our misty area that tiny bit will work all the way along and when you're uh, doing your misty area you tap straight on not at an, at like like this because that will cut it off where you want it to be all different types of mist that's why you do it like this okay now let's start working forward so using our number three fan brush let's get a little bit of the white a little bit of the phthalo blue white and blue but I think where does our water start maybe maybe you start seeing it here so let's just start dragging it in maybe it goes around there and maybe this is where the fall is there's a fall and it goes there We'll do that in a minute. Now back to the old two inch brush. Let's get some of these yellows. Let's do a bit of palette maintenance as well. <laughs> the palette's got all these colors everywhere. We need to move this a little bit. Let's move that over there, just in case we need it again. Okay, back to our two inch brush. Go into this dark colour and then into our yellows and just tap. And you get, if you push, push up, you get a little ridge of paint. And you push up, you get a little ridge of paint, you get one of those on your bristles. And that's what we want. Right, so let's have a look at our land. Maybe, maybe the land up here and then it goes down and across like that let's get a little bit more sap green just tapping just tapping thinking about angles thinking about the lay of the land yeah, let's get a bit more of that yellow the yellows we can put in another area there and that sort of angle there always thinking about the angles though let's get a bit more of that colour let's start let's start bringing this in Get some more of that colour. 
So we've got yellow ochre, cadmium yellow, sap green, a little bit of Indian yellow on there. the way the land is okay that land sort of goes down there so sort of there okay now I want to think about about this water now. Let's use the uh, detail knife. Let's get a little bit of this dark colour we mixed earlier. A little bit of that. Let's put in a. Uh, there's a rock that lives right out there. Maybe we'll have him there. Maybe there's another one. There's a bit of a rock there as well. Yeah, that'll do. And then uh, we can highlight that rock. Let's use a bit of that white that we've got. So we pull it out flat, cut across, a little roll of paint. And we left the paint marbly so we can uh, so we get different colours. So the light's coming this way as it shows on the mountain. So let's put in a little highlight. On our rocks. Okay, now let's use a uh, fan brush, dip into some liquid clear, and then go into our white, white both sides. So we've got a bit of liquid clear to make it a little thinner. So when we do our water flowing, it'll be a little bit easier for us. So we've got our water, it's coming down, coming along, and then here, and then just drops. It's coming down and then so it just drops there. Let's get a bit more of that paint. Maybe here it goes round and then it drops. Maybe there's a bit that hits there and that drops. It's up to you. You can do all kinds of little maybe it's hitting there and then dropping. Lots of little waterfalls in amongst them. Okay. Now let's uh let's start. Let's create some mist at the base. More this water. I want a little bit of mist. So I'll just tap into some of the white. Get a little bit of white on the end of my brush. Maybe even less than that. Let's tap in some spray. Let's spray in all, all along there. Just give it a tap. And then we can have our water. Maybe our water comes out of the spray here and starts flowing off. And then down here and it's splashing, it's playing. It's down there. So let's uh, start working on this side. Maybe we've got maybe we've got a big tree there. So let's get into our dark colours. All the darks that we used for our mountain mix earlier. Let's throw some sap green in it. Darks and sap green. And maybe we've got a tree. Maybe we've got a tree. And he lives about there. Maybe there's another one. Maybe there's another one there. Hmm, feels like there should be one more. Maybe one there as well. We'll have three on that side. 
by using the corner of the brush. And we've got a load of paint on this. Loads of paint. <laughs> Go to the paint shop, need more paint. <laughs> it's fully loaded. Look at that. Loads of paint. Okay, and then using the uh, corner of the brush, a touch, and come down. Touch, touch, touch. The further down you go, the more pressure you put on. Now this tree, it lives there. So load the brush again. Fully loaded. Corner of the brush. Pressing down. And then further down you come, harder you press. And then this tree over this side, I'll do him as well. Corner. Okay, let's put in some uh, highlights on those. So let's, let's use the uh, detail knife. Let's get a bit of brown, find that brown, dark sienna, cut across. A little roll of paint. Let's put in the indication of some tree trunks here and there. Little tree trunks. Okay, maybe, maybe we'll highlight that, we got a little bit of white, throw it in with our brown colour and cut across, a little roll of paint again and let's highlight that side where the light is. I won't see all of this but some of it will show through and these little details is what might sell your painting. <laughs> It's good to know them. Back to another, another fan brush. Go into some liquid white and then we'll pick up a little bit of this. Let's pick up a little bit of this phthalo green and go in with these colours. But phthalo green. Phthalo green is a sort of a summery green. Strong. But it gives us something a little different for our trees. Maybe this is too bright. <laughs> this is a little bit bright. Okay, that's a bit better. Just dulled it a little bit. I don't want our trees to be too bright. So starting with the tree that's furthest away first, which would be this one. Just put in some little, little highlights. Just here and there. But you want to keep some of that dark. Keep some of that dark colour, because then it will make your highlight show. If you put, if you start enjoying it and you think, oh, I want to put some more light on, then you end up losing all your darks and mm -hmm. you need those. And just put it on little highlights. Okay. And then this tree here, maybe this tree's in front then. There's now, <laughs> make a decision and then put it in front. Okay. Now using the one inch brush, one inch brush, let's just grab some of this dark quickly. And let's put in some bushes that are going to live there. Maybe while we've got this dark on the brush, maybe we'll have a couple of bushes here as well. Why not? Okay, now let's uh, dip into some liquid white. Just got some liquid white on the end of the brush. And then let's go into some, let's go into a little crimson. Let's go into a little crimson. Pull it in one direction. One direction, let's get a bit more white. Good white just to 
that's better pull in one direction so you can you see a little bush shape well I see a little bush shape so you have one of those on your bristles let's come up here let's put in some little crimson bushes so sort of live there okay okay now let's uh, put in one over this side as well a bit more colour and let's put him in just touching and pushing up touching and pushing up okay Just brighten these ones up a little bit. That's better. Get a little bit of light. Okay. Now let's start. Let's start working on this. Let's get a little bit of this green. All the greens, yellow ochre. Let's push to the paint, and then let's. Cut this off. It goes down like that. Thinking of the angles. Just tap in. And you can bring some of this over. Okay. Maybe we can put in maybe we can put in a few more rocks. Get some of this black, midnight black. There's a there's a rock there. Maybe there's one here as well. Wherever you want, you can put them in. A bit of the highlight colour we used before, and let's just put a bit of highlight on there. Okay. Maybe on this side, maybe there's some rocks right in front of there. It's very rocky down this bit, and we'll just put lots of black, black in there, and then grab some of that highlight. Since it'll be quite dark there, put a little bit more black in the highlight colour so it's, it stays dark. using angles <laughs> now uh, go back to my let's go back to this one the fan brush let's use some some of this color these yellows let's just touch and push up and we can put in some little grassy areas little hangy downs Maybe there's an area that comes there just put it in Okay, and then I need to work on this side. Maybe there's a tree. Maybe we've got another tree. Another tree and it lives. Get some of that dark colour. Loads of colour. Maybe that tree. It lives here. Maybe there's another one. Maybe there's one that lives there. It goes in front of this brush. Right in front of it. There's another one there. Why not? So loads of paint on the brush. Loads of paint. And here we go. Corner of the brush. Go in and out. Corner of the bristles. And now we're going across those bushes that we spent so much time on. But it's okay. We know how to do it. We know how to do them, so we can do them again if we want to. Corner of the bristles. Just go in and out. 
in and out. Okay, and then there's this one, the corner of the brush, in and out, in and out. Okay, now let's put in our tree trunks again. Using the knife, a bit of brown, a bit of brown, and some more brown. There we go. And here. Okay, maybe a, let's put a highlight in again. A little highlight. A little highlight on this side of the trunk. Okay, now back to our fan brush. Fan brush, phthalo green in with our yellow back to our highlight color and this tree start putting in our highlights okay and the other one and let it go darker, darker, darker as it gets to the base of the tree. There's not as much light. Okay. Maybe, maybe there's some bushes there. Let's get, let's grab some dark. Let's grab this bush. It's one inch. Grab some of this dark color. Maybe there's a layer of bushes. They live there. Maybe they sort of hang down a little bit as well. We'll put in some dark in here. Okay. Now let's dip into our liquid white again. Got some liquid white. This time we'll go for some of this blue. Let's get some of this blue. A little bit of green as well. Let's go with the bright ones. Grab some of this white as well. So we've got phthalo blue and phthalo green. Some more white. Let's brighten it up. Okay. Turn it over and let's put some of these in. So you just touch and push up. So you can do this. You don't have to go with just greens. You can mix it up. Create what you want. Play with colour. Maybe it sort of hangs down like that. Maybe you want to go into some of the crimson. Still with your dirty brush. And it will go sort of a lavender colour. Maybe you want to do some, some lavender. It sort of hangs. Maybe there's one there. Maybe there's some there. Wherever. You could even get really hot. Use a bit of the bright red. You can maybe put in a few of those here and there. In amongst them. Whatever. Okay, let's start. Let's start working down there. Let's get some of the yellows. Cad yellow, Indian yellow, sap green. Let's start bringing all this, all this down. Just tapping, just tapping, following the angles. Just tap in. The more you tap, the softer, softer.
to it, I'll get it. Okay. Maybe, maybe I'll pick up a little bit of this red. I'll just change the flavor here a bit. Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe I can even put some dark bits in just to add a little bit more depth to this, this area and then go back to the old fan brush. Maybe I want some uh, bright yellow areas as well. I'll highlight those. I can put those in. No problem. You're just pushing up. Just pushing up. Maybe there's a few of those there. Maybe there's a few just under that rock. Uh, just to set that in. Yeah, maybe. Maybe like that. Wherever. Then you can get the uh, liner brush. A little bit of paint thinner. Maybe go into the bit of this white. Maybe you want to put in a few little sticks and twigs sort of drag out some of this green draw in a few little sticks and twigs in amongst this wherever you like you can really put in a lot of detail few more in there. Maybe I need a few in those dark areas there. Wherever. Put in a little Thing there. Maybe that was a bush, but it's lost all its leaves now. Oh, you can do you can do all sorts of things. Yeah, maybe back to a clean fan brush. Just clean up this area. Uh, it's even. We can get paint thinner. Maybe we want maybe we want a little bird in the sky there. We'll just do a little M bird. Maybe there's another one. A line. Another one. A couple of little birds in the background there. Why not? You can do anything you want. Put in all kinds of little details. Okay. I think we'll call this one finished. 
thanks very much for watching this episode. I'll just give it a little bit of a signature. And I hope you enjoyed this one. I'm giving you uh, lots of things to, to work on. <laughs> lots of ideas. I'll use this cad yellow mixed with red. <laughs> and I've just dipped my bristles in some paint thinner. You want to make it as thin as ink. Thin as ink, really thin. And twist your bristles. And let's put in a little JB in there. Hidden in the grass. And a little bit of the masters. Okay, thanks very much for watching this painting. I hope you give it a go. Cheers. Mm -hmm.